To the city of New Orleans and the Houdat Nation, words cannot express the love and appreciation I have for you. From the moment I stepped foot into the city of New Orleans, I could feel your spirit. You told me that if I loved New Orleans, you would love me back. No truer words have ever been spoken. You embrace me as your quarterback and my family as your own. You made me strive to be the best that I could be for you. When I was knocked down, you picked me up. It was your passion, emotion, and resilience that made us all believe. I will spend the rest of my life attempting to give back to you what you have given to me. My family and I will always love you. To the Saints organization, Gail Benson and the late Tom Benson. In the world of sports, I could not have asked for a better organization and ownership. Your commitment to excellence, unwavering support for our team, and generosity toward the community are second to none. I recognize the chance you took when signing me on March 14, 2006. I worked every day to prove you right. Ms. Gale, you are one of the kindest, generous, and most extraordinary people we know. Thank you for your love and grace, guidance and leadership. I still miss my visits with Mr. Benson and his grandfatherly advice. To my coaches and teammates, to build a great team means finding men of great character, toughness, intelligence, and a fierce love for the game. But most importantly, the really successful teams in any arena are the ones who love each other the most. When things get tough, which they always do, sometimes the only thing you have to fall back on is the love of those around you. You will push past any perceived limitations you thought you had to fight for each other. You find a purpose far greater than yourself. To the assistant coaches, no one will ever know how hard you work, the number of hours and mind space you put into developing the game plan that will allow us to succeed. You invest so much into your players, staying up till 3 or 4 a.m. to develop and fine tune that last third down or red zone play that could be the game winner and was in many cases. I especially thank your families for their sacrifice. I hope they know how big a role they play in this. And thank goodness for the coffee machine in the tight end room. Sean and Mickey, thank you for building a culture where we could experience this type of love and commitment. It is not common, but rather very unique and very special. For 15 years, our relationship grew past that of player coach and player GM. I've watched your children grow, and you've watched mine. We have struggled, laughed, cried, and celebrated together. Your trust and belief gave me great confidence and brought out my absolute best. Mickey, I will miss our conversations about our kids' upcoming flag football opponents. Sean, I'll miss our dot meetings and seeing if the spoon will stand up in your chocolate milkshake. No ice. To the training staff, equipment staff, and all the unsung heroes, the most remarkable people in the building are not the players or coaches, but rather those who are behind the scenes, dedicating and exhausting themselves in service of others. Your commitment of time, effort, energy, passion, and sacrifice so that we can be our very best will always be remembered. The level of pride and dedication you possess to be a part of the Saints organization is awe-inspiring. I want you to know how much you are appreciated, and we cannot do this without you. I will miss the jokes and laughs in the training room figuring out what sweatsuit Sean wants us to wear for the road trip in the equipment room, and beating you all at ping pong. To my mentors, whether it was a 5 a.m. breakfast or a zero dark 30 workout, you both told me that nothing is stronger than a commitment to someone you love. It may seem like a little thing, but the way you do anything is the way you do everything. Tom House, thank you for helping me to truly understand the power of play. Thank you for helping me to order the chaos and master the process. Our moments of discovery were much more than just a dopamine rush. We were embarking on uncharted territory, blazing a trail, and changing the world for the next generation. Thank you for helping me to realize true purpose and authenticity. I will always cherish our bond. Shut up till I line it up. Mach 3 with your hair on fire. GFF. Todd Durkin. From the roots to the wall to the hill to the alley and everywhere in between. Thank you for your energy, your positivity your fire-breathing dragon spirit. Thank you for your love and guidance on all levels, mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual. You are the epitome of heart and soul, and you gave me an edge that made me feel unbreakable. The world needs more leaders like you. Get your mind right, and watch out for the rooster. To my parents, family, friends, neighbors, and the village. Thank you to my late mother, Mina Ruth Akins, and my father, Chip Breeze, for providing and sacrificing so much for me to achieve my dreams. 
Thank you for always making my education most important and for the discipline I didn't appreciate until now. Mom, thank you for not letting me quit football by telling me your opportunity will come and when it does, you will be ready. Dad, thank you for always saying yes when your son wanted to hit the ball, throw the ball, shoot the ball, or just hang out with you. Thank you to my stepmom and her family for accepting two crazy boys. To my grandparents, thank you for teaching me so many life lessons, but most importantly, thank you for showing us all how to care for others. Family, thank you all for the competitive fire. Our family gatherings turned into heated competitions, including wrestling, relay races, washers, and plum seed spinning contests, and became the proving ground for my love of competition. They say it takes a village to raise a man, Thank you to Armstrong Elementary, Lee Elementary, St. Andrews, Westlake High School, Purdue University, and all those who were a part of that village. Each of you had a very special role in this journey. And I'm not sure I would have made it this far without Mama Price's red beans and rice. To my wife, Brittany, and children, Balin, Bowen, Callan, and Ryland. Brittany, you are my angel. I'm not sure why God blessed me with you, but you have been my shining star. You make me believe that we can accomplish anything. You taught me what it is to be part of the best team. Your strengths and my strengths overcome our weaknesses. I wake up every day more in love with you than the day before. You have given me a lifetime of love and happiness, and we are only getting started. To Balin, Bowen, Callan, and Rylan, when this journey began, you were just a hope and a dream. Each of you has brought so much joy and purpose to my life and career. I played for my city, my team, and all those who believed in me, but I also played for you. I always dreamed of having my children share in these moments, hoping and praying that you could carry these with you forever. My motivation each day was to get home in time to read you a book and pray our bedtime prayers before you fell asleep. You don't know how much that pushed me to be my very best for you. I can't wait to watch you all grow and pursue your own dreams. To all the young dreamers, my heart and mind ring with the lessons and teachings of so many in my life. My journey has included many failures, plenty of adversity, and moments of tragedy and triumph. Through it all, I've learned some valuable lessons. First, always possess a growth mindset. No matter your circumstances, no matter what adversity you may face, this is an opportunity to grow. If it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. Failure is a tough teacher, but it is the source of all achievement. Always get back up, and stay the course. Second, the power of play. When you're part of a team, you'll learn more life lessons, social skills, and develop more confidence and self-esteem than anything else you can do. The point is not to choose the easy route, but rather to challenge yourself and not be afraid to fail. As you work through that adversity, you are molded and strengthened into who you were meant to be. You will be amazed at how good you feel once you make the commitment just to try. Play as many sports as you can for as long as you can. And while you're playing, remember a few simple things. Do your best, have fun, and never quit. Third, focus on winning at the game of life. We all strive to be great at something. It could be sports, music, anything. What I found to be most meaningful in life are relationships, being part of a team, feeling empowered by knowledge and education, and feeling that I can positively impact the world. Find the things that bring out the best in you and others. Have a thirst for knowledge. Treat others with respect and kindness. Work to be well-rounded and do your best where you are. It may not be where you want to be yet, but when you focus on winning at the game of life, the rest will take care of itself. To Dr. James Andrews, Tom Condon, John Palguda, Chris Stewart, Ron Schrader, Neil LaHue, Joe Tiller, Jim Chaney, Greg Olson, Marty Schottenheimer, Brian Schottenheimer, Cam Cameron, Pete Carmichael, Joe Lombardi, Bo Lowry, Scotty Patton, Rob Wilton, Miles McPherson, and Sean Mitchell. Thank you for your love, guidance, mentorship, and investment in me. God bless you all, and here's to the next chapter.